If you want to keep up to date with the latest channel activity, Destiny news, and dank memes, follow me on Twitter at RickKakis. What is up guys, Rick Kakis here, and today we are discussing the sniper nerf that recently hit Destiny with patch 2.4 and why it could be a very good thing for the game. This sniper nerf could massively increase the gameplay diversity that you see within the snipe rifle category if Bungie does things properly in the Rise of Iron. And guys, that is a huge if. I really don't want you guys to be thinking that I'm saying, yeah, fuck snipers, this was a good nerf. I'm not saying that at all. But this nerf has given Bungie the opportunity to include some much needed diversity into the sniper rifle category. So again, that is a big if. If Bungie does this properly, and we'll explain that if later in the video, then this nerf is a very good thing. If not, it's essentially a blanket nerf to the damage potential of sniper rifles, and therefore, I'm not in favor of it. Now, there was additionally a flinch nerf to sniper rifles. There's still, you know, some hot debate going on between sniper rifle users and non sniper rifle users between, you know, whether this nerf was needed and if it was needed, to what degree was it really needed. I am kind of in the camp of I like to see the little bit more flinch for sniper rifles. It was kind of ridiculous that you'd have a long Long range scout rifle and you would lose almost all the time to snipers even after landing multiple headshots. But in this video I'm really focusing on the damage nerf. Now for those of you who may be unaware, patch 2.4 actually nerfed the damage of the thousand yard stair, LDR, and longbow synthesis archetype. Therefore you're no longer able to get one shot headshots on the highest health supers. So a hammer titan and other things like that with the highest armor capabilities, you can no longer one shot headshot with these snipe rifles. You you can still kill the lower armor tier of supers like Blade Dancer with a single headshot and you can still kill enemies off of res. Now that what I just said there, the LDR, Thousand Yard Stare and Longbow Synthesis archetype really kind of showcases what I'm about to talk about about increasing diversity. Guys, the Longbow Synthesis, LDR, Thousand Yard Stare. Those three snipe rifles all belonged to that archetype. They all still belong to that one archetype, and they're three of the, arguably, the three best snipe rifles you can get in the game. That kind of shows you that there wasn't a ton of diversity within the snipe rifle category. You kept seeing those three snipers over and over and over again because it was such a clear choice of which archetype to use. Why would you use a snipe rifle that didn't kill supers when you could use a thousand yard stare or an LDR that killed all the enemies with a single headshot, all the supers with a single headshot could snipe off res, it could do everything and it still had very good overall stats. Great aim assist, you know, pretty decent ammo, all of that stuff. So, although some of you in the comment section may be saying, hey, I got a god roll, Waylorn's March, and by all means, if you're comfortable using that, go ahead. You know, as I, I tweeted this out yesterday that everyone, when they play Destiny, has a slightly different experience, and therefore everyone is going to have slightly different and legitimate opinions on what needs buffing, nerfing, staying the same, all of that stuff, based on what they've experienced in-game. And although it's good to discuss and debate these issues, that's how Destiny evolves, thinking that you're the only one who's right and everyone else is just crying, bitching, retarded, whatever, is a very juvenile approach to this, and I think the Destiny community is better than that. Now that's really all I'm doing in this and many other videos, is sharing my ideas and opinions with you guys, and hoping that you'll consider them. Now, let's get back to snipers, because as I was saying, although some people may have their kind of secret recipe for the best sniper, most of the player base, and I think you guys can agree with this, most of the player base was using that one archetype over and over and over again. And so that is really not great for diversity, a very important factor when you're talking about a loot-based game. If you're throwing all of these different, you know, pieces of loot at players in Destiny, and they're earning all of these different snipe rifles, but they're only really looking for that one damage archetype, that is really not what you want in a loot-based game. 
and therefore this damage nerf has the opportunity to massively shake up the sniper rifle meta again if Bungie does something properly because now you have the opportunity and you're gonna have to think as a player okay do I want to stick with my thousand yard stare archetype of sniper it kills off res it kills some supers I'm covered in most scenarios or do I want to go up to the black spindle archetype? Do I want to be covered in all scenarios, but have a little bit worse handling, have a little bit worse ammo, you know, you only have three rounds in a magazine, or do you just want to give up on getting headshots altogether and look for a god roll low damaging sniper and just maybe have that quick double body shot option available? Those questions are now coming up, whereas before this nerf, they didn't. Now let's talk about that big if. I've been talking about like if Bungie does something properly, this will really help the game. Now that big if is this. Bungie needs to, absolutely needs to, for this nerf to work, for it to actually increase diversity, they need to add decent, legendary snipers of the Black Spindle damage archetype into the game with the Rise of Iron, because that is going to be the main choice that players make. Do you want to stick with the same thousand yard damage archetype, still have the opportunity to take down most stuff, still have good aim assist, good ammo, all that stuff, or do you want to get these legendary, like in the past the Effort Eat Spear was an example of a legendary in this category, get the legendary Black Spindle damaging archetype and be covered in all scenarios. And to do this, to make that choice, to make players have to think about that choice, they need to introduce some decent legendary snipers with this damage archetype. Failure to do this will be catastrophic in terms of gameplay diversity, because if Bungie doesn't do this, essentially what they're saying is that if you want to be covered in all scenarios, you have to pick the Black Spindle or the Zen Meteor and that's it. And if you're on the Xbox, fuck you, I, this is Bungie saying this, because you only get to pick one, you get the Black Spindle and that's it. Really, that's what's going to happen, and you may think, well, of course they're going to add more legendary snipers, but it's been a year since the Taken King has come out, and they haven't. They haven't added any legendary snipers into this damage archetype, and that, I think, is a huge mistake. Because without doing this, very few players are going to make the choice to give up their exotic slot and then only get to choose between two snipe rifles at the most in order to be covered in all scenarios. That is a huge downside, giving up your exotic slot just to use a sniper, and therefore, this nerf can be thought of as a blanket nerf to snipe rifles. If Bungie doesn't actually include more legendary snipe rifles of the black spindle archetype in ROI, then most players are still going to be sticking with the thousand yard LDR longbow synthesis archetype as, you know, it makes sense that they would, they're not giving up an exotic slot in doing so, then Again, it was basically just a damage nerf. You've basically taken away the ability for most sniper rifles to kill the most powerful supers with a single headshot. And that is a totally different discussion. That is really just a discussion about what the power of sniper rifles should be. And, you know, that's not the discussion Bungie wanted to have. Bungie made this nerf in the name of gameplay diversity. And if they don't introduce more snipers, as I've been saying, they won't achieve that. They just won't, and therefore I think this nerf would be a bad idea. So Bungie, please execute this nerf properly. Introduce more legendary snipers within the Black Spindle archetype, because doing so will be awesome. It'll increase gameplay diversity. Players will actually really have to choose, okay, do I want to be covered in all scenarios or do I want to be covered in most scenarios and have a little bit better aim assist stats and handling stats? Like that's going to be a huge debate within the PvP community and that's awesome that you have legitimate battling opinions over which is the best archetype of sniper to use. That is the dream when you have a loot based game. Additionally, Bungie, if you're feeling frisky, you could always add lower zoom optics to the lowest damage archetype of snipe rifles. Why not add red dot sights and ACOG sights for the absolute lowest damaging snipe rifles? That would be a legitimate reason to use those as well, because right now, those are getting a very little amount of love in the game.
Now that's it for the video guys, I hope you enjoyed. Now if you did and if you agree with what I'm saying, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video even if it's just telling a friend. If you guys want to see more Destiny content similar to this from me, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. If you want to keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me of course on Twitter at Rick Kakis. that's linked in the description down below, as is my Twitch channel which you can also follow. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video and as always, have a good day.